Hello and good morning and welcome to New Forest Malls. It's Paul here at uh, New Forest Malls and Jared is away for a couple of weeks uh, on family duties so uh, it's just myself filming. So I thought what I'd do is just give you guys a little bit of a catch up on where we are with our big girls who are ovulated and ready to lay. We've had one uh, clutch already laid last week and that's doing well in the incubator and there's veins. Jad came over and confirmed that there are veins in those three eggs and we'll have a, a little quick look at those. Um, we're going to go through the 15 girls that have got um, to the point where they've either ovulated or they will ovulate very soon. And what I've done is I've put a black marker on each of those rubs so I can monitor them and keep an eye on them. And I think we'll just go through a few today and just look at some of the behavior that these big girls do toward the latter stages. We're also going to talk about the importance of getting that final lock in um, when they get to 35 mil plus. And uh, we've had some success this weekend. We've uh, bred another seven pairs and uh, seven locks out of nine, which I'm very pleased about, and two tail to tail. So they could have been locks there, but we'll uh, just run through some of those. So let's have a look first of all at our big girl Electra, and then we'll go through and have a look and see what behavior they're, they're displaying. Okay, let's give it a go. So Electra is our super gravel girl and she's been displaying lots of different behaviour. She's been cooling off in the bowl, she's been on the heat spot as well and you can see she's actually going into a pre-lay shed. So I think this is her pre-lay shed is what she's going through. You can see that her eyes have gone grey and that her body is starting to go opaque. And so what we need to do is possibly give her a little bit more humidity. So I'm just going to get some paper. And this is what I do to, without disturbing her, I just get a roll of paper, maybe take a couple of, um, couple of sheets, soak it in her water bowl, because the water bowl will have 80 degree temperature. I don't want to shock her. And we'll just go in there and we will just help her shed out put a bit of extra moisture at the back there. She has been going into a water bowl so she knows her pre day shed is coming. And then we top up her water uh, with a jug. So what I find has been helping the snakes is rather than spray them down, I take out the um, warmer water from their bowls. And then what I do is I add extra humidity on the heat spot and everything's shedding so much better and everything is feeling a lot happier because they're getting higher in the humidity. So I think it's going to be at least probably two or three weeks, it'll be about three weeks before we get a clutch from Electra. So let's move on to the next girl, which is Zag. And I think she might be moving into her pre-lay shed as well. She's had, um, her follicle sizes were 36 a month ago, so she's probably close to 45 now. And she's had one, two, three locks. She's the exantic, not exantic, she is a, um, let's have a little, well, you can see she's in shed, I won't disturb her. And what we've done is I've actually put extra humidity in there. But you can see that the bamboo girl, which we're hoping is 100% het for exantic, and also she is 100% het for ultramel. And we're hoping to produce some bamboo ultramels with possibly exantic in them as well. We might get a visual exantic if she proves out. She's 50% het exantic. And we're not sure which exantic she's in. She's, she, it was one that was thrown last year to us and we had a bit of a surprise. So she's um, doing really well. We won't disturb her. So she's going into a pre lay shed. Mo, now she's had one, two, three, four lots and she is currently at 36 millimeters last month. So she's probably up in 40s and she's basically on the heat spot there just keeping the eggs warm and she might have a few more weeks to go yeah i don't think she's given us a pre-lay shed yet so she's she's up there but i think it's gonna be four or five weeks before we see anything there and down here we've got a beautiful vanilla het clown girl suzuki now she is um let's have a look at her I think she's not very far off now and we're trying to produce some multi-combo clowns with her with vanilla in there and you can see that she's um, been off food for quite a while she has been bowl wrapping she has been soaking so I don't think it'd be long a few weeks before she gives us a clutch 
So that's an exciting project. We want to get vanilla into our clowns because the vanilla is an excellent gene. It's very subtle, but once you apply the vanilla with H E pastel and other uh, combos, it brightens everything up and does some amazing things with the patterns as well. Now this one here is Isa. Isa is our Desert Ghost Enchi girl visual. She's had one, two, three locks with Hercules, our multi-combo boy clown. She was at 42 millimeters on the 21st of January. And now she's kind of just nesting a little bit there. So again, we'll probably expect her to either give us a clutch in the next couple of weeks so we'll keep an eye on her and then the other one we've got here is Calissa now Calissa is a clown girl she's an entry clown girl and she's showing 35 millimeter follicles last month I think she's preparing for her pre lay shed she loves the bowl soak but she's just going into a bit of a shed now so I think that this girl here will give us our pre-lay shed in the next week or so so her eggs are probably three weeks away so we should have a lot going on in March and April right moving on to Venus Venus is our spot nose cinnamon pastel girl and we've put our orange dream banana pastel boy Apollo to her and locked over the weekend she's got massive follicles that's probably her final lock before she goes and it's really important to get these final locks in particularly towards the latter stages so she was 30 millimeters a month ago so she'll probably be getting close to 40 so she'll probably be March April Starburst was 36 millimeters she's our ultra male Mahali girl self-produced and she is looking pretty good really comfortable and think she'll have to give us a pre-lay shed first before she gives us our eggs but we're hoping to produce some Mojave Ultra Males and that will be 100% heifer pied. This one is a very exciting project, one of Jared's girls. She's had one, two, three locks and she just locked with Bowser. She's a pastel clown girl that's 100% heifer pied. Had her four years just see how big she is under there let's see how big she is so she's just taken a final lock from Bowser this weekend so we're hoping to produce some visual pides 100% het for clown and for lavender albino it's the holy grail project so again we think that's going to be probably about six weeks away and then we've also got some other girls that are preparing so over here we've got Caramac Caramac is our self-produced ultra male girl and again we put Randy to her and Colt who are either double visual ultra male pides or pides 100% het for ultra male. She's currently at 30, uh, 35 mil so again anything over 30 we're keeping an eye on seeing how she's doing and she's on the hot spot so she locked with Randy so that's probably our final lock. And then at the bottom here, we've got Mayu. I think she might be the next girl to give us a clutch of eggs because she is close to 38 mil follicles. She has given us a pre lay shed already. And she is looking quite bulky there. You can see the bulkiness in her body. And I don't think it will be long before some eggs come. So it could be any day now. So we'll keep an eye on her see what happens with her clutch and again Bowser went to her so we're going to try and produce some visual pides that are 100% het for lavender albino plus also pastel and cinnamon in there as well and then going over to the big girls on the bigger rubs we've got some very very exciting things to look forward to so we've got Mango who is our pastel and she is a pastel clown that is some um, absolutely gorgeous she's had one two three four locks with skip who's a gravel 100 percent head clown boy she's at 41 millimeters last month and you can see where she is she's on the hot spot keeping those eggs warm she has given us an ovulation and i believe she's given us recently a pre-lay shed as well 
so in a couple of weeks we could get some eggs from her and she is beautiful lovely lovely mother proven breeder from last year gave us the gravel clown boys which are doing particularly well and I'll show you those towards the end we'll just put her back so that's exciting Tess is our multi-combo Batman project she is a spot nosed girl that is 100% het for clown had her for about four years as well first time mum she has ovulated and we're just waiting for her pre lay shed in fact she is going into a shed now so I think what I'll do is just give her a little bit of water at the back help her shed out nicely there we go girl that will just give you a little bit of assistance and make it easier for you to shed and then we'll just put her hide back on there we do like to use hides the other advantage of using a hide is that the clutch is laid flat normally which makes it easier to go into the incubation box um, so sometimes we just leave the hides in there and they like to have the privacy of their hides to lay their eggs extra protection for them now Bubbles is official clown she's an Enchi clown and this is her first time ovulation she has ovulated she has given us a pre lay shed as well so again any moment now we could see some eggs now here's interesting she's got her tail towards the center so that could be of interest to us that she might be getting ready to lay soon and what I've done here is I've been very careful not to make it too wet in there because I don't want wet eggs I don't mind humid eggs but not wet eggs so when they get close to laying I just take off my gas on the uh, huge water side and not put too much water in there because I don't want to damage the eggs and then they'll get 100% humidity as soon as they are in the in the box in the incubation box so there are our girls that we're getting excited about there are an army of other girls that are going to give us clutches in a month or two's time so we've got more coming through so we're really getting excited this is a lovely part of the hobby um, we've been breeding since September and we're now in February and it's just exciting to see the uh, fruit of our labors coming through and we're getting excited about that you'll notice over here I haven't mentioned is I do have um, another 10 adult size racks that have been delivered by Ridgeway and they're over there to do. Jab would normally help me, but I'm on my own at the moment for a couple of weeks while he's on family duties. And um, but we'll get those set up, and then what that will do is we'll move on the grow-ons into the um, uh, larger racks, which we need, and it will free up space on the hatchling racks because we do need some extra space on the hatchling racks. So everything works to our benefit. We just got to make sure that everything is moving up at the right time. So what I wanted to do is just show you how these little boys are doing. Finn, who is our gravel boy, which just shed out the other day. And you can see he's putting on some lovely size. I would say that he's about 400 grams and he's feeding on medium sized multis. And he's coming up for nine months old. So we're hoping that he'll be ready to breed for next year. And you can see how pretty he is. Beautiful gravel head stamp. And then you've got those lovely patterns on his body as well, which are really lovely too. So he's doing really well. His brother Monty, which we're hoping is also a multi-combo gravel clown, is doing particularly well. He's 500 grams. He was always a good feeder from day one. He's a super pastel, um, lesser, we think possible gravel clown. He might have all the genes in him. So we've been looking forward to breeding him. Very powerful animal. And over here is Pickle and Pickle's doing really well and this one's definitely gravel you can just see that he's about 450 grams and he's got super pastel in him and lesser and he's 100% het for clown so he didn't prove to be visual clown but he's got everything other than two copies of the clown to give that visual expression lovely beautiful head stamp you can see there got a nice white head stamp which is indicative of the pastel and he's got those crazy wavy patterns on his body which we love very much and again he'll be up for breeding in about a year's time so they're all doing really well and then I'll just show you how beautiful our other clown boy is doing here this is the ultra male 
Well, it's a clown 100% hair ultramel. You'll see how beautiful this is coming along. And he's close to 400 grams, 450. And just look how bright, bright he is. See the influence of the ultramel shining through the clown there. Absolutely stunning. And again, giving all these babies extra humidity and uh, they're really appreciating it. So that's doing well. So I think that's just about it for now. So thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel and uh, we appreciate your love and support. I hope everyone's having a good season too and we'll catch you next week or maybe earlier if we get some eggs, you'll get some clutch videos coming through over the next few weeks and hopefully, fingers crossed, we do well and get uh, lucky on the odds. I wish everyone the best and uh, we shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now.